wasn't really an adventure. Um, we had kind of a laid back day today. Um, still in Durango. And um, yeah, we kind of took it easy this morning. Went and had uh, breakfast again um, here at the Blue Lake Ranch. The, bread, the bed and breakfast we're staying at. Um, it was another lovely breakfast. Um, and then kind of took it easy this morning. And uh, then we moseyed into Durango um, and went to um, Main Avenue. They have a bunch of shops and things like that. Um, had lunch at um, Mountain Tacos and Tequila. Um, I thought the food was good. Oh, was good. Like no, it was very good. But uh, I don't know, we came in at a time when a bunch of people came in, so they were busy and we had to wait forever. Yes, yeah, service was a little slow. I think they um, could probably use a couple extra waitresses. Um, very busy place, um, which is obviously a good thing for them. Um, so we had to wait a little bit longer than we wanted to for our food, um, but it was good. So um, after that, we just strolled up and down Main Avenue. Um, there's a few galleries there for anybody who's interested um, in artwork or portraits. They have some portrait galleries and then couple of sculpture galleries. They do have a couple of jewelry stores as well down there. Um, if silver or turquoise is your thing, um, that's kind of the, the jewelry vibe down here. Um, and then you got a picture of where we had lunch yesterday, right? Because we couldn't remember the name. Right. Well, couldn't remember the name and the taco place was right next door to the pizza place. It was. So... When we left the taco place, uh, I got video of the pizza place in front of it and in front of the uh, taco place as well, which you're probably seeing right now. So the pizza place was fired up pizza, um, and we couldn't remember that. So um, I'm sure you're going to be putting those photos in there so they can see. But um, both great places to eat. Um, and then actually a couple of times while we've been here, uh, we've just run over to the city market, um, or King Supers or Kroger, whatever it may be in your area, if you have either one of those, um, and actually just picked up a salad or something for dinner. Um, you know, instead of eating two meals out or whatever, um, we don't need anything huge for, um, for dinner. So one night we did, um, a small bowl of chili and, um, you know, a healthy choice type thing. And then tonight we had salads. So that's really convenient here too. Um, in our room, they um, provide you with some silverware and coffee cups um, and regular cups and some bowls and some plates along with a microwave. Um, so for people who don't want to go out to eat for every meal and maybe want to want to save a little bit of money, um, you know, you have the tools here to, um, at your at your access to, to go to the grocery store and get whatever you want. So um that was kind of our day. Yeah. And if you're following along, we we're supposed to go to Mesa Verde, but uh, the weather was gloomy this morning. And uh, we looked at the weather, the forecast for tomorrow uh, is actually better than today, so we decided to postpone Mesa Verde and do Mesa Verde tomorrow. So that will be exciting. It's supposed to be warmer. Um, and hopefully we can get in a lot of great pictures and um, some good video there. So um, I had brought along some telescope gear um, with us um, in hopes that uh, since we're out here and the night skies are so great that I was going to get in some astrophotography opportunities. Um, but I got a new mount that um, we had set up and balanced and aligned and everything and then come to find out that the mount is actually defective. So um, no go on the astrophotography tonight, which was really a bummer because we've had cloudy nights for what, like a month plus, two months maybe. And um, so I haven't had any real opportunity to do anything. So. 
Um, no astrophotography, but I do have my Canon 80D um, outside right now on the very nice little porch that we have here um, at our little cabin. And um, working on some photos for hopefully a time lapse um, to kind of see what I can get out of that. So um, started it at sunset. We're just going to let it run until the battery dies and, and see what comes out of it. Because also tonight is the Lyrid Meteor Shower. So fingers crossed, um, maybe I can get lucky enough to have a couple of meteors or something show up in my time lapse. So um, if it turns out the way I hope it does, we'll share the time lapse with you guys. But she'll be seeing... Why she was talking about it. So, <laughs> if it turned out good, you would have seen it already. Um, <clears throat> also, you're talking about those birds. Oh, yeah, um, these birds. I call them Indian birds. I know it's probably not politically correct, but <laughs> my wife's, uh, what do you mean, eighth quarter? A quarter, I believe. A quarter Cherokee. Mm -hmm. So I can say those jokes. <laughs> but they sound like. Uh, an Indian war cry. They're like, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to put in, I, I got, it's not the best because it, it's windy. It's always been windy. Uh, but uh, here is the, uh, what I call the Indian. Hopefully somebody can comment below and uh, tell me what they actually are. I did a little bit of research, and some people said it could be mockingbirds because they pick up weird sounds. But uh, then when I did like an audio search for mockingbirds, the sounds I heard didn't sound anything like these birds. So never heard anything like this. So I don't know what they are. So hopefully you can tell me what they are. Yeah, we would be interested to know. And it kind of seems like. Have you noticed them in the morning? I think we only noticed them in the evening. Well, the first night we got here, I heard them, and then I didn't hear them last night. Didn't hear them last night, and then we heard them tonight. But it was kind of windy last night. Too. Right, but we haven't heard them during the day at all. So I don't know if there's a bird that comes out at nighttime. I don't know. We, we don't do birding stuff. So, um, you know, with us putting the sound bite out there, maybe, you know, Somebody out there will let us know what they are because we'd be really interested to know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, well, then they say, and I think when I read, when I read, uh, mockingbirds are active at night and early in the morning. Hmm. Well, so it's a possibility, I guess. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. Maybe they heard like Indian war cries and that's what they're doing. The mockingbirds. Are because they change your color. Right? Mocking the Indian worker. Yeah, what a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Anyways, that was our day. Um, it was pretty leisurely and then um, kind of a letdown towards the end, not being able to do some astrophotography. So, hopefully tomorrow with me as a birthday, um, we'll be able to get a lot more footage and um, end up with a lot more photos and We'll have some more stuff to talk to you guys about and have some more stuff to share. Well, we'll get, we got Durango swag today. Oh, yeah, we did get Durango swag. We went to the to the usual sweatshirt, t-shirt shop and and uh, got a couple of Durango, Durango hoodies and stuff. So we always try to do that with wherever place we go, um, get some type of souvenir. Mostly, mostly clothing, I think, is what we end up with. Yeah, when we went to we went to Vail for a honeymoon like four years ago, and uh, I got this sweatshirt, this hooded sweatshirt. It's it's big, it's comfortable, and I love it, and I wear it all the time. 
and I got told I look like a hobo when I wear it pants. <laughs> it is worn. It is missing the strings. It has all those little fuzzies all over it that um, you cannot get off. That it don't. It, you know, you get them from washing it too much. Um, the lettering is starting to look very faded, and I think you have like a ripped pocket or something somewhere. So. Awesome. But right. asleep. it's not the best looking sweatshirt. I'm personally kind of sick of seeing it, so I'm, I'm glad he got something new. <laughs> hey, that sweatshirt, one, was 20 bucks. It was 20 bucks. Two, it's been washed every week for four years. I think that means you wear it too much. <laughs> I love it. It's comfortable. At night when I'm cold or in the morning when I'm cold, I'll throw it off. So this will, this will be the replacement. Anyways. So we're looking forward to tomorrow. For uh, Lisa Verde, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good shots. And uh, I've always wanted to do it, so it's a, it's a big bucket list item. One of the main reasons uh, why we came out here, but we found a lot of other good stuff. So we're looking forward to uh, Lisa Verde tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we have uh, a lot to talk about. So we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.